So this is the same western wall we can see outside. It's the continuation of it. We're not standing on top of it or beneath it or on the other side of it, just along the same wall, but where it's concealed, where it's hidden. If you look over here at the bottom and with your gaze slowly climb up to the top, you will notice different kinds of construction. You're looking at two different periods. 1400 years ago, when the Muslims first came here, they find parts of the wall ruined, destroyed. They decide to renovate. These small stones over here and the larger ones above them, all the way to the top is 1,400 year Muslim renovation. But from here and all the way down to the valley, we're talking about four stories beneath us. This beautiful symmetric shaped stone with this nice frame around it, aligned so neatly one near each other and one on top of the other with no cement in between to glue the stones together. So uh, look at me, don't follow me. I wanna show you something. From here and all the way, going 40 feet along the western wall, 40 feet, that is longer than a bus, you're looking at the largest stone found in the Temple Mount. It is 12 feet high and 14 feet deep. It weighs close to 600 tons. And the big question is how? How do they carve a stone like this? How do they roll it here? How do they lift it up and place it so accurately? I believe a good question deserves even a better answer. The answer is we don't know.